This may look like a fun field trip to the pool, filled with races and water games. But what's really happening here could be life-changing. This wasn't coming to swim and splish splash, but this was coming to teach kids something about that they could use in their life. And it's amazing to see their progress. What's even more exciting for me is our fourth graders who continue on with us and fifth grader. The, the first year we do have some children in the therapeutic pool, but when they go to fifth grade, we don't have any. And it's amazing what they're retaining and the skills. What they're retaining is the ability to be comfortable in the water. It's a skill that can be a lifesaver but it's also a skill that can open up a new world for these kids. It's really cool because my friends knew all that stuff and I didn't, so I felt like an outsider. So now that I know, I can tell them about it. I think the fun part about it is that we don't always have to be doing one thing and that we're not always just bored sitting there. We have, always have something to do. All kids love water, <laughs> and who doesn't love water? But that's the secret to this program. They are so excited, they can't wait to come over here. They can't wait because this is fun. But the need for kids to know how to handle themselves in the water is real. On average, 10 people a day die by drowning. The possibility of that happening to one of these kids from Jennings is greatly diminished now, and it's all because of a few good days in the pool. I'm a crier, so when I see him successful or I see that child that first day that's, you know, just got knuckles on the wall and by the last day they are letting go and swimming. Are their strokes refined that first year? No. But are they swimming and could they save themselves if they got in a situation? Yes. And that's comforting for me to know. Comforting for these kids too, even if they express it a little differently. It feels amazing to know that I truly can swim good.